Hello fishing people. My name is DJ. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make one of these custom salmon flashers. These are two that I've made and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that yourself. The cool thing about these salmon flashers is that it would cost you roughly three to four dollars to make whereas buying one of these in the store is twelve to fifteen dollars uh, for one that are these size. Maybe you can find a deal for nine dollars but regardless these are really really inexpensive to actually make so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to set these aside for now i need my piece of acrylic sheet so i have my acrylic sheet here now what i like to do uh, is i like to do about four inches for the bottom and then five and a half inches uh, tall so i'm going to measure that out right now utilizing this ruler All right, we have four inches there. Let's do five and a half. All right. Now I'm going to use this enormous framing square that I have. But first, I want to measure the middle. So the middle would be two inches. We got two inches there. Now I'm going to use this framing square. I want a nice straight line down the middle. Okay, a nice straight line down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and get the edges lined up. Now I don't want to go exactly in the middle. I want to go a little bit off to the side. So I want that middle to be a little wide. I don't want it to be super sharp. So we've got that side. And get that side. All right. So now that I have all of that measured out, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, I've gone ahead and cut out my triangle. Now I can go ahead and place that to the side. And we will go ahead and choose our colors for our flasher. So I wanna go this time, let's go with gold or like a yellow, that's yellow. And let's do red. So let's do gold and red for this one. Alright, so let's do the red. And we'll do the gold. Alright, so make sure making sure that these scales are going the right way. I don't think it actually matters, but I just like to have it that way. There we go. Alright, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a red and yellow kind of like half half flasher. I'm gonna cut this out. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and cut out the flasher tape for the triangle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set this aside for now. Take off this protective film that's on here. Before we do that, though, we want to make sure we still got that center marked on the bottom. It's very important. All right, let's take that off there. Throw that away. Now we need to make sure that these edges are nice and smooth. I just use the steel wool, smooth it out. You can use a sanding block, belt sander, whatever you have. Make sure it stays nice and straight, but you don't want it to be sharp where it would cut your line. So that's nice. It's real smooth now. Um, what I'll also do later is round out this top corner and these bottom corners as well. But I'll go ahead and do that later. For now, 
Let's go ahead and start making our fins. I'm gonna push this table forward so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna use this framing square because it has a nice 90 degree angle. I'm gonna set this here when I'm ready to bend my corners and I'm just gonna push down on those corners. So push down, flip it over and push down because we want one that's this up and one that's down, so they're opposite fins. So we gotta heat that up to do it. So I'm gonna take this enormous blowtorch thing that I have, and I'm gonna heat this up. Okay. Let's go ahead and line this up. See if we can push down on this. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second so that way it doesn't come back and it cools down. Okay, so it looks like we got one right off the bat. Let's do the other side now. Should be good. Line that up again. I'm just eyeballing it. It's already moving on its own. All right, I'm just gonna hold it there for a couple seconds. Oh, looks like the sticker got stuck to that. Okay. All right. So it looks like we have two nice fins. Could always heat it back up. That one's super hot. So we can always heat it back up to make sure that it looks nice. But I like that. I think it's a little dramatic, but yeah. I think I I think that's what I'm gonna go with. You guys can see that. Oh, it's hard to see because the glass is clear. But that's what I'll be going with today. All right, so let's go ahead and get our holes punched in. I'm gonna move the table back. Get our holes punched in. We use this ridiculous blowtorch thing that I have. And let's go right in the middle, not right at the top, just a bit of the way down, and punch that through. We'll do the other side. All right. We got that punched through. I'm gonna use this to take off the excess kind of pieces that are left over that melted away. All right, now I got a nice hole now. Do the same thing on the bottom. Not all the way at the bottom. Okay, now I got two 
nice holes. You can see why having that center line mark still was important. Get your hole right in the middle. And now we can go ahead and put those fins on. Got some excess here. All right, so now we can go ahead and put those uh, or the flasher tape on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have my flasher tape on there. It's starting to look just like the ones that you get in the store. Last thing that we need are some swivels. So we need to put these swivels on there. Okay. So now there we have it. So remember, we still want to round the corners, the corners, the corners. I'll do those later. We'll make those nice and smooth. Make sure the edges are nice and smooth. Uh, I've been thinking about using some split O-rings for these pieces here. I got those on order instead of the double snap swivel. I think that's what it's called. Uh, but I'll go ahead and put a link to all of the supplies that I use to make these in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.